So literally how I started my business, like I said, long story short, was I started, period. That's all it starts. Anybody who wants to start a business and wondering what I did, I started, period, start. Don't sit up here, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to look into it next week. Start, period, because if you don't start today, you're not going to start tomorrow. Number speaking fast. and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and if you like what you see so far make sure you like comment and subscribe and maybe go check out some other videos after this video so in today's video as you guys seen by the title i am going to be doing basically a business story time i guess you could say on how i started really <laughs> on how i started my business sin city beauty how i got started the beginning to the end the good stuff the bad stuff the everything so basically what brought this video on is a lot of people asking like they really ask me on a daily basis how did you start your business how did you start your business how did you start your business and what people don't understand is me being a business person and me you know taking care of social medias taking care of my business, taking care of customer service. I'm the only person that, you know, is really behind the scenes of the business. And people don't understand, like, I don't have time to sit here and type you a story time on how I started my business. So, I'm breaking the video. So, no rambling, no, just really no introduction that's needed. Let's just go ahead and jump into the story time. I, I'm trying to figure when I started. Kind of like middle school, maybe. I've always been, like, a reseller always i've done it all the time i started with clothes probably like ending of middle school beginning of um high school a lot of people used to always ask me how are you you know a kid and you have money you buy things like how is this and i used to resell and i got money from my parents for doing little you know stuff i would take that money and i would go buy things like you know so not super cheap but like at a reasonable price and then turn around and sell it. And when I say reasonable, I mean I was doing it with clothes, like I said. So I would buy shirts for like two, three dollars, like cute shirts, and I would resell them for like ten dollars. Then when I resell one shirt for ten, like if I bought two shirts, I resell one for ten, take that ten dollars and buy some more shirts, and then the other ten dollars I make off the other shirt, I would keep for myself and just keep doing that until I had, you know, a good bit of money. And I was, you know, it just kept going. I was doing clothes, then. Probably about after I graduated high school, it was June. I don't know what day, but I know the month of June, I decided to do lashes. So basically, the story behind me decided to do lashes was nobody in my city, my town, like nobody. When I say when I started some lashes three years ago, it wasn't nobody around here that was doing that. But me being on social media, me trying to be an influencer. I was getting lashes sent to me. I was promoting people lashes and everything. And a lot of people, it got to the point people were just asking me, do you sell lashes? Like, you stay with a bunch of lashes. Like, do you sell lashes? So, I was just like, hmm, maybe I should. Maybe I should. So, I kind of just like looked into it. PSA, please research. Do not ask people what to do research what you want to begin your business about if you want to sell lashes research lashes that's how easy it is google and youtube is free just had to put it out there back to story time so yeah i started to google and look around trying to figure out how to do that and i found my first vendor well yeah i found my first vendor because i don't have none of those lashes i found my first vendor and i literally spent like 30 dollars I spent like $30, got some lashes, and I just started promoting them, like doing little cute Snapchat videos. I was really only promoting on Snapchat, just cute little Snapchat videos of the lashes, like, hey, and I was selling them like dirt cheap. Mistake number one, don't lowball yourself just to try to get out there, just try to get people to look at you, just to get people to try your stuff out, don't lowball, because they're going to expect it to stay that low. So I was selling all my lashes like $5, $5, $6 at the most. So I was selling like that. I was taking them to people free of charge. Like y'all, I was I was hustling backwards. But anyway, so I started with those lashes, made the money, and I realized like this could be something good. Like 
I'm sitting here spending less than $5, but Lily Lashes over here making $30 off of one pair of lashes. Like, what am I doing? So I took that money I made from that, and I flipped it, got more lashes. Every time I went and bought lashes, I bought more than I bought the last time. I never, like, if I bought five lashes the first time, I went and bought 10. If I bought 10 that time, I went and bought 15. So I just kept increasing. That way, I could see more money at one time before I go back to buy more. So next thing you knew, people started to know me for selling lashes. Cause like I said, I was the only one in my town, like in my vicinity who was, you know, doing that. Like it wasn't nobody selling lashes right here except for Dollar Tree and Walmart, well Dollar General and Walmart. So I had really no competition. It was no, no brainer to do it. So I just kept putting my money in and kept doing it, kept doing it and it kept building. Like I literally see my memories in Snapchat now of where like I started from and it's just crazy. So when I first started, I had the acrylic cases. Just plain clear acrylic cases. And I was writing my labels on there. <laughs> Literally, like I was writing my labels. Then my stepdad, he gave me my first idea. He gave me the idea of print, like just designing my own thing and printing them on these um label sheets that you will use. It was return address sheets. So I was making my labels. All it said was I didn't have a logo at the time. I just knew I wanted my business to be Sin City. I called myself Sin, which is a whole story time of itself. <laughs> How I came up with the name Sin. But I just knew I liked the Sin City. It just was a kind of, it was, just, it was a vibe for me. But when I first started, like I said, I was selling clothes. So my name was Sin City Boutique. One of my PayPal's is actually Sin City Boutique. But anyway. So I just took Boutique off and made it beauty. So I had Sin City Beauty at the top. Some eyelashes under it. And then... I think I had my web, I don't know, I didn't have a website, but a website at the time. Hold on. I, I actually still have, <laughs> I still have that label. Okay, here we go. So I did have my website at the time. But, so this is what my first label looked like. It just says Sin City Beauty Lashes at Shop Sin City and my website. So these was my first labels. They went on the back of the acrylic cases. So these are the kind of cases I had. These are my last sale lashes online if you guys want to shop them. But anyway, so the way that I did it was this, the paper that was on the back, I would put that sticker on it. Then I had got stickers made. Well, I made the stickers. Made and designed. <laughs> the stickers to go uh, with the names. There we go. So these are for my lashes sweetheart which i currently still have and they would just go on the side so you know i was slowly moving up like i didn't try to you know make everything perfect in the beginning because i was going to spend the money that i invested that 30 dollars was going to stretch to do everything so everything kept going i was using that money to do that little stuff right there that was cute for a while then I moved into getting lash packs. I got my first lash pack, the multi-pack. I bought, oh yeah, and then just another thing about me. Me, I'm the type of person, if I'm going to invest in something that I believe in, I'm going to invest in it. Like, I'm not going to buy little. And when I say little, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that, oh, when I buy something the first time, I'm going to buy 300 pieces. I'm just saying I'm not going to test it out with five. You know, when I first started, yeah, because I didn't know if I was going to like that or not. But once I felt like, yeah, this is what I want to do, I started buying 10 and up. So when I first got my lash packs, I bought like 10. And then I realized the way that I was, you know, moving this stuff, literally, like some of the things that I was getting, how much it cost me to buy the entire thing, like, the whole number of them i made that money back when i sold the first one like literally like back when nobody was looking into this industry it was so inexpensive to do this stuff like literally but now since it's, it's now since it's saturated not saying that you know it's no room for nobody but now that it's a little more saturated these prices have increased not a lot, but it has increased. Cause like I said, with my lash packs, the first one, the multi pack, which I don't have anymore, but that pack, I when I bought ten, I sell those for twelve dollars. I bought ten for about twelve to fifteen dollars. So I made my money back regardless. Like selling, if I sold three, I made my money back and got a profit on top of that, and I still had seven more to go. So like when I was telling people back then, like this is a, a you know, this is booming. Like y'all come get this money. Nobody was listening until now. It's saturated. But anyway, 
So yeah, I started getting into like the packs, selling them like that. I had cute little labels that I made for those packs and just stuff like that. So my first year, my first unofficial year of business, because I didn't become official until, oh wow, this will be the first year. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday was my first official year in business. I legalized and everything in my business May 9th of 2019. But anyway, so that was my first like unofficial year of business. Everything was going good. Stuff was growing. And I had started, you know, I had not started college. So I was moving stuff on college. I'm literally known as the girl who be selling lashes. Like if someone's just talking to a friend, like I need some lashes for a party. Sin. They literally going to be like sin. Everybody called me sin at school because what they know me for is lashes <laughs> but anyway so first year booming so now i this is when 25 mm had none came out and whatever else and i was just like i'm not gonna like no 25s i'm not investing in nothing that i wouldn't wear myself like i'm not doing it so i missed the beginning of the 25 mm way which i hate because Literally, when I finally brought 25s on and I tried them on, number one, I loved them. But number two, everybody else loved them. Like, 25s is what makes my money. Like, me selling 25 AM lashes is what keeps my business afloat at this point. The other lashes, they do love them, but the 25s is what makes my money, okay? So... Started selling 25s, that started blowing up, so I started getting more traction and more attention. Then, I had a sit down with my mom and my stepdad. Because one thing about me is, I like to get all my facts together. Like, I will literally make you a PowerPoint if it's something that I want to do. But I kind of, but I need a little funding. You know what I'm saying? So, my parents are like my personal loan bank. I literally, if I need money for something, I will go to my parents. Like, but I always go to my parents kind of like last like they know me I'm, I'm a very independent person when it comes to money i'd rather make my own money and spend my own money and get money as a gift rather than me ask it like if i have to ask for money it's gonna take me a while to ask for it but anyway so i decided okay guys so i'm back i had to get something to drink but so that's what i was saying basically went to my parents with this new idea this new game plan because, like I said, I started selling lashes because it wasn't no one around here really doing that. So, had a new idea. It was only, like, one or two people in my area. And when I say my area, I mean, like, in two different cities out of, out of a bunch of cities. It was, like, one or two cities that had this. So, I was like, well, I want to bring it to the cities around me that don't have it. And also, my market was college kids because people love things that's on hand. Which is another thing. Another question I had. I, okay. I'm thinking about making a rant video <laughs> about business, but I don't want it to be negative. So, if you guys have an opinion about that, comment down below what you think I should do. I want to kind of make a rant video about, like, different business people. Just different things, like, that I just dislike in business. But if you guys will be interested in that, please let me know. But anyway people love on hand things so i was just like well okay i want to tap into this market so i went to my mom and i was like we are gonna sell hair <laughs> we're going to invest in a whole bunch of hair and we're going to sell it so i sat down and explained to them why i thought it would be a good idea because it's on hand that is a good marketing strategy right now because can't well not can't but it's not a lot of people who are around my age that relate to me that would trust me you know with their hair that they can afford to do that me neither that's why i'm coming to y'all but that kind of was my my strategy of telling them like this is gonna work because i'm the only like, i'm gonna be the only one around here so they were like they was on board so we invested like almost 700 dollars in here we got two different textures on hand we had Straighten body wave from 12 up to I think 22 inches. So we had all that on hand. And just closures. We didn't do fronts. So we started with closures because I only did closures. I didn't want to sell things that I did not do. So I didn't want to sell nobody a frontal. Then they turn around and want me to do their hair as well. And I can't do a frontal. So I sold closures. I had closures in the inches from 12 to I believe 16. 
Yeah, 1216. And it started off pretty good. Number one, the first vendor that I had was trash. She was trash. And the crazy thing about it was I should have seen this coming. So I tested out a vendor for going on two years. When I first started selling lashes, I was wearing their hair. Period. So I was just like, hmm, I'm going to start with them. They have good prices. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm going to start with them. So I messaged them. Because number one, this is AliExpress. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw that out there. So I was getting my hair from AliExpress. And I messaged the company like, hey, do you guys sell wholesale or whatever? And it was like, yeah, here's the number. Text them. There's wholesale. So the first red flag was the people changed. Number one. It changed, the names changed. It was a whole different person, whole different everything. But I just still went with it. Like maybe this this is the company that this company works under. So I went ahead, got the hair, full blown, gave her all the money. We were working, we were selling the hair, making wigs, wearing it. So I ended up just deciding, well, push come to shove. I'm just gonna wear it myself. I don't pay for it. So I had not pay for it. So I made myself a wig. And y'all, that was a bomb big. That was my that was my girl Jennifer. When I have long straight hair, I call her Jennifer. But anyway, so it was bomb. Like I loved it. It was I made it so great. But then this is when I realized that the vendor was trash. I wore it for a good two, three weeks. I put a picture, you know, I one of my pictures on Instagram basically went viral in the in, you know in the hair. It was some good, it was nice looking hair. But anyway, so about a good two, three, maybe even a month into wearing the hair, y'all. The hair, it just matted so bad. It tangled and matted so bad in the back. The top would look cute, but if I was to go and try to split my hair, matted. Like, it just was horrible. I, it, it, it was no good. It made me so mad. And I'm just like, I can't be selling hair to people that's matting in the back. Like, I do not want that name when people think of me. I do not want that on me. But remind y'all, this is a month of me wearing this hair. And I started selling hair in September. I started to wear that hair around the end of October, beginning of November. So that means I done sold to people this horrible, horrible hair. Like, I, I was just so mad. So now I'm trying to scrimmage and find another vendor. But actually, she found me, and I still use it to this day. She found me on Instagram, and she messaged me. She actually messaged me on Instagram, got my WhatsApp number, messaged me on WhatsApp. Like, she was she was on it. So I'm just like, all right, give her a try. So when I got the money from the horrible vendor's hair that I sold, I took that money, and instead of buying hair from the old lady, I bought hair from my new lady. I bought it from her. And we've been moving smooth ever since. She's just perfect. I love her. She she tries to call me sometimes, which I do not like, but it, other times we we be cool selling. We, it's cool. So I started working with her, and everything went good. I started getting more hair, doing more stuff. You know, everything just kept growing, 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 growing. But one downside, especially to me being in such a small like a small place, I don't stay in Atlanta. I don't stay in you know Los Angeles or any other place in California. Like I don't stay in those busy big places where everybody you know everybody wants to support everybody. Everybody can make money. I stay in a place where people they want to know what you got going on, but not to support. So when I came into getting hair, and my main marketing was I got hair on hand. Everybody would still go to people who did drop shipping. They just that's just what they did. And they would ask me like, hey, do you have hair on hand? Yeah. Then get hair from somewhere else. And it's just like what what's what's the point? Like I understand people who's curious to be like curious like, you know, what do you have? How much is it? Okay, that's cool. You know, I genuinely wanted to know. And then maybe like a month or two later, they might get something. It might not be hair, but they might get like a lash or something. That's cool. Like, I love that right there. I don't mind people asking because I ask questions. You can ask any vendor I ever worked with. I will ask them questions to death. But I know behind it, I'm going to buy something from you. I'm not bothering you if I'm not going to buy something. The same way, um, I, oh, when I got my custom press-ons, the first time I messaged her, I said, I'm not about to ask you a lot of questions because I don't have my money right now. I just want to know. So that I can, when I get that money, we can be smooth sailing. And she 100% appreciated that. Because I'm not going to be in your DMs bothering you knowing that I'm not spending a brown penny on you, period. People just kept doing that to me. Like, just asking me questions just to see what I had going on. Wanting to come to my apartment just to look at my stuff for no reason. Like, y'all, I was getting so aggravated. And I am a people's person, but 
people have a time limit with me and after that time limit is up please leave please stop talking to me i can't do it anymore so it was really just it was it was getting to me but i'm working on it but anyway so yeah with hair hair lasted about about a year and some change because i no longer i no longer what is the word i'm looking for okay i no longer have the desire to have hair on hand like I just no longer desire to have hair on hand. If you want hair, another PSA. Please, 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 please read on my website. Do not order anything without reading about it. Period. Period. I'm about to start making it a necessary thing on my website to click, yes, I have read the policies and shipping and handling on these items. Because, y'all, it's getting on my nerves. Hair is not kept on hand, period. Unless I post it and it says on hand, available for pickup, can ship out next day. If it does not say that, it is not on hand. So please do not order hair. Do not order wholesale lashes without reading that. Because sometimes I can ship out wholesale lashes because I have them. I buy my lashes in big books. So sometimes I can do it. But it lets you know between 7 to 14 days. That means you when the 14th day hit that's when you start hitting me up about stuff not before then period okay you gave me you made it seem like you read it that you understand so there is no refund there is no cancel until after that 14th day that's with lashes or wholesale lashes or hair anything else i have it on hand and i can ship it out today period but anyway back to the story anyway so yeah, I no longer desire to keep hair on hand. I don't do it anymore because, and I don't want people to think that it's because of other people why I made that decision, but it is because I sincerely just do not have the desire. I don't, if you look at my business page, I do not promote hair like that. I mainly promote wigs that I make because I do enjoy making wigs. It's, it's a creative outlet. People do not know doing hair is art. It literally is art, but I just no longer desire to do with hair, but anyway, to think. Oh yeah, and then I jumped into lip gloss. <laughs> Started to sell lip gloss. Y'all, lip gloss was a battle. It was a battle. Because I didn't want to sell lip gloss. Well, I, I really wanted to sell lip gloss. But then, another person in my city started to sell lip gloss. And I am the type of person that I get discouraged when I see other people do things before me. I don't mind people do things after me. I will help people who do things after me. I want to start doing um, business not free. I want to start doing one-on-one -on -one business consultations and like stuff like that for people because I really do three years into this going on for you know I know a lot of things I can help a lot of people who are just beginning so I really do want to start doing that but anyway what was I saying oh yeah lip gloss so that's just something about me so I let her kind of like have her shine with lip gloss for a little while because I just didn't want to Number one, jump on. Feel like I was jumping on somebody's bandwagon. And number two, I didn't want to feel like I was trying to steal somebody's shine because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. So I kind of let her have her time with it. She sold out quick and she, I don't think she brought it back for a while. So I decided to just go ahead and release mine then. So I started doing lip gloss. I started off with my squeeze tubes and then I went to my own um, wand tubes and everything was going cool. I kind of now am losing the desire to do lip gloss as well. I honestly don't know if i will you know release any more lip glosses i have all my stuff so i kind of want to use it before i decide to let it go but i don't know i'll see but i think that's the last oh yeah then hair clips i started doing hair like i just you know every, i just bring on things but long story short because this was a long story long story short how i started my business was i started literally that was it i started i didn't have no game plan i didn't have no business plan i didn't sit down and think about it for a month or two months i didn't have a release day i didn't i didn't do all of that because i just wanted to have a business i not even a business i just wanted to hustle i wanted to make money like i wanted to flip money without going to work i didn't get my first job like official clock in job until my first day of, like the first day before college our first day was on a Tuesday. I caught it on a Monday. So, literally, I just didn't want to get a job. <laughs> so, I just started, you know, doing little side, cute side hustles. I was doing YouTube. I was, um, you know, making, basically getting free clothes from um, companies who wanted to collab. 
making videos on YouTube, getting money from YouTube. I was reselling things. And lashes was just the thing that stuck. Like, I don't see myself not selling lashes. So, literally, how I started my business, like I said, long story short, was I started. Period. That's all it starts. Anybody who wants to start a business and wondering what I did, I started. Period. Start. Don't sit up here, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to look into it next week. Start. Period. Because if you don't start today, you're not going to start tomorrow. No, but speaking facts. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and you would, you know, like to see more from me, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some more videos. I have a whole playlist about my business if you would like to check into that. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. This is Sin signing off. Oh, shit. I hate you all, baby.